Welcome to this platform. So in this video, let us have a look at uh, one of the topics that we expect in paper one, and that is linear programming. This is one of the topics that most of you find challenging, although it's a simple one. And of course, if you find it in an exam, you need to make sure that you get everything. The question reads, write the four inequalities that define the unshaded region on the diagram. So how do we write the four inequalities that describe the uh, unshaded region which is R. So now the way you deal with this one you start with the easy one and the easy one if you are to find the x or y plane like that the ones that are you know uh, vertical or horizontal are the easy one that you start with because these they contain only uh, one variable. So in this case let us just number these so the easiest one that we can find is one then let us let me just number them two three and four so that is how oh that is the order that we are going to uh, find the inequalities so how do we find the inequality for the first one so this line is cutting at uh, six so it is cutting at six and the line is x is equals to six but in this case we are looking at um, we normally write the inequality for the unshaded region that is the wanted region. For this shading, if we are to do, uh, that is a linear programming paper too, we normally shade the unwanted, then the wanted remains. So even here, what uh, in describing the inequalities, we normally write of the part that is on the um, unshaded region. So if this one is x is equals to 6, and now the other thing that you should know are the inequality symbols. This one represent greater, so this one represent greater, then this one represent less, then this one greater or equal to, so greater or equal to, then this one less or equal to, okay, less or equal to. So these are the four inequalities that you are going to use. Now, how do you know the one that you use? So the one for greater, let me start with one, the one for greater just is a dotted line. And the one for less also is a dotted line. But for greater or equal to is a solid line. And also for less or equal to is a solid line. So those are things that you should have in mind. So to find the uh, inequality for this one, which is x is equals to uh, 6, we look at the part which is not shaded, which is this part. Okay, so we are going to say, um, now this line that you are seeing, going this side, x increases so this is the greater part of the line and this is the less part of the line so to use the inequality since it's dotted line as you can see we are going to use the less symbol so we're going to say x is less than uh, 6 so that is the first inequality then let us go to the second one so for a second one it will need you to know the concept of uh, the straight line that is on coordinate geometry. So coordinate geometry is one of the topics that you should consider doing. And I have a video just right here on my platform. You might need to check it out. It contains uh, everything that you need to know about coordinate geometry. So now for this one, we are going to say the equation of a straight line is mx plus c. c. Then we are going to pick the coordinates. For here, it is 0, comma, I mean 6, comma, 0. Then at that particular point is 0, 0,3. So these are the two points that we have. And now we are going to come up with the equation of a straight line having two points. Okay, or you can use this other one. Some of you, you know this form of uh, equation of a straight line, uh, which is x minus, uh, that is x1. So the first thing when you find the equation, the first thing you need to find the gradient. And gradient is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let us pick this one as x1, y1, then this one x2, y2. So we are going to have 3 minus uh, 0 divide. That is the bottom part. x2 is uh, a 0 minus, um, that is minus 6. So in this case, we are going to have a 3 on top then negative 6 which gives us 1 over a 2 because 3 in 2 3 is 1 uh, 3 in 2 6 is a 2 but it's a negative so negative 1 over 2 that is a gradient for this line okay so now that we found the gradient we can replace into this where there's m so we are going to have y is equals to um, 
1 over 2 negative, then um, x plus a c. Now the second step, now that we found the gradient, we need to find the c. So to find the c, we can pick any of the points. So we are going to pick this point, this one as x, this one as y. Then we replace where there's x so that we can find the c. So where there's y, there's a 0. Then negative 1 over, here there's a 6 plus a c. Okay, so this one and that one, you remain with a 3. So this one would be negative 3. So 0 is equal to negative 3 plus c. If we bring the negative the other side or negative 3 the other side, it will just be c is equal to 3. Or we shouldn't have even gone that way. We just have picked the 3 here since it's cutting the y-axis, which is just the y-intercept. So the equation for this line is equal to y is equal to 1 over 2 negative x plus a 3. Now this line that you are seeing here, the same line, this top part is the greater part of the line. Okay, then this one is the less part. Now the unshaded region that we want is on the greater part. And therefore the inequality that you are going to put there will be y is greater or equal to, since it's a solid line, greater or equal to negative 1 over 2x plus a 3. So that is the equation or that is the inequality. So the second inequality that you are writing is y is equals to negative 1 over x then plus a 3. Okay, I've forgotten this one, greater or equal to. All right, then for the other one that we are finding, so we've said this one we are done, this one we are done. So the other one that we can go with, I should have gone with this one. I should have written this one first because it's also uh, one variable. Okay, so this one is cutting at 1 on the x axis, it's cutting at 1. So this line is x, I mean y is equals to uh, 1. But this part of the line is less part, then the top part is the greater part. So now, to write the inequality, we are going to put greater or equal to, because it's a solid line. So y is greater or equal to 1. Okay, so this is the third inequality. Then the fourth one is this one. Okay, now for this one, here it is 0, comma, 0. And there is 6, comma, 6. So we are going to use the concept of an uh, equation of a straight line as well as we find the equation of this line. So remember, the equation of a straight line is equal to mx plus a c. The coordinates that we have is 0, 0, this is x1, this is the y1. That is x2, y2. So 6, 6 there. So to find the gradient, we are going to say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, so x2 is equals to 6 minus x1 is 0. I mean y1 is 0. y2 is 6, y1 is 0. Then for x2 uh, is 6, then 0. So in other words, what we have as a gradient is that simply equal to what? 1, and it's positive. So you replace y is equals to, we replace the 1 there to just be x plus c. So now we can get n of the points to find c. So we are going to get 0, 0, which means where there is y, we we'll put a 0, and where there is x, we we'll put a 0, plus c. And therefore, c is equals to 0. So in this case, when we replace a 0 here, it is just going to be y is equals to x. Now that this equation is y is equals to x, what is its inequality? 1, you need to know that this is a dotted line, as you can see. And of course, this part of a line is a greater part, and this is a less part. So which means we are saying y is less or equal to x. So these are the four inequalities that we need to know. Otherwise, this is how we work out our questions on uh, linear programming, that is paper 1. This is one of the sweetest topic that you can earn uh, all the marks. So please get to know this topic before you go in an exam. Like I said, I have quite a number of uh, recordings here that can help you for paper one. I have quadratic functions and equation. I have also some other topics that you can look out uh, for. Okay, so we can end here. And if you've not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please consider doing so, so that you do not miss out uh, um, the future videos. I have physics being prepared 
as you are writing it on Friday. Otherwise, we can end here and see you in the next one.